Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Today I've got another beer from Arbor for you. This one is a, an American IPA and it's called Yakima Valley. Big pint can. I do like the cans that Arbor are knocking out. These big pint cans with this kind of matte, almost sort of rough finish to them. Very cool. So yeah, this one's an American India Pale Ale coming in at 7% ABV. Uh, it's an American IPA full of Amarillo, Cascade, Chinook, Citra and Summit hops. Uh, yeah, brewed in Canada in the UK by Arbor Ales from Bristol. Not much to say about it. Plain black can. Um, yeah, picked this one up a couple of weeks ago in my local beer shop. Um, let's get this American IPA out of the can. See what we get. Last beer I had from Arbor was their Citra pale ale and it was amazing and i tell you what the aroma i'm getting on this as soon as i crack that can juicy juicy baby and she pours and she is pouring lovely wow okay <laughs> oogie dookie um look at the color of that that is a bright orange i mean that is just orange Bright orange, hazy as you like. That almost looks like a picture of a pint. You know, if you've got the little emojis on your phone, if you're meet, the arranging to meet up with one of your mates and say, let's go for a pint later, and you put the little icon, that's what a beer looks like. like a bright orange drink with a big head on it. And it has got a big head. It's a, a one, one and a half fluffy white head on it. I mean, that is orange. That is orange as it gets. The sun's shining on that, so you get a little bit of gold coming through it. Haze as you like, you are seeing nothing through there. Looks wonderful, let's get an aroma. Big, fruity, tropical aroma. All the hops are coming through, it is juicy, it is making my mouth water. Oh, it smells beautiful, yeah. Getting loads of mango, passion fruit. Pineapple, grapefruit, melon. Oh, I suppose absolutely wonderful. There's a piney aroma to it as well. And you're getting all those hops. It smells wonderful. Let's get taste. Cheers, guys. <laughs> oh. God dear. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Arbor are on one at the moment. They are knocking out some incredible beers. Um, this one's going to be a 10 out of 10 already. I just know it is. Oh. All right. All that... That fruit aroma, you're getting on the taste, there's um, a citrus hit, there's a bit of lemon, grapefruit, the passion fruit's there, the mango's there, pineapple is there, so juicy. That piney taste is there as well. Um, and it carries through and then there's a nice hoppy finish to it. More hops, more of a bitter finish than with the, the Citra Pale Ale that I reviewed from these guys last time out. Um, yeah, this one certainly has a, a bit more of a, of a bitter, savoury kind of finish to it. It's a bit more of, I mean, it's obviously it's an IPA, so it's going to have to be a more of a rounded flavour, but, I mean, this is absolutely stunning. From start to finish, the, the look, the aroma, the taste, it's everything you'd want from a big juicy IPA, it's stunning. Some of you might not like your juicy IPAs, me, I love them, absolutely adore them. This is the perfect IPA, it's stunning. Oh. Big juicy, citrusy hit, and it carries through that flavor. Here come the hops, hoppy, not overly bitter. It's not. Uh, I, I don't, don't think it says the IBU, IBU level on this one. It doesn't say. 
I wouldn't imagine it's a big one. It's not massively bitter, but it has a nice hoppy finish to the back end. It, it really is a beautifully rounded beer. It is lovely, gorgeous. Um, yeah, uh, all the aroma carries through on this. I don't know what what more there is to say. It's not particularly complex. It's not. Uh, it's not there to confuse you. It's not something you're going to think, mm, not sure if I like it or not. It's perfect. It's massively juicy. It's beautifully hazy. It smells lovely. You've got that lovely hoppy finish to it. It's a, just a really, really good quality IPA. Uh, gentle carbonation throughout. Light body without being watery. Um, it's got a slight, a slight thickness to it, but nothing major. It's got uh, sort of a, a light to medium body on it, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, um, like I say, it's, uh, it glides down. It glides down and the flavours just linger. That fruit, the juice, it lingers and the hops come through and they complement one another because you're still getting the fruitiness, the juice flavour from it. And then it complements itself with the hops at the back end. It really, really is good. And I'm not really getting any of that 7% ABV, which is dangerous because it's a pint can. This is my first beer of the day. <laughs> um, so a 7% pint of this, and you're not really feeling that 7% alcohol, you could get in trouble with one of these. But I look at that. That is stunning. That is a beautiful looking beer. Beautiful looking, beautiful aroma, beautiful flavour. Arba have done it again. I'm going to go back to that shop and buy everything they've done. These guys know what they're doing. Look out for Arba. Arba are, are on it right now. I've had two beers from Arba this year. First time I've had anything from Arba. And that's two in a row that I've got to give a 10 out of 10 for. This is just stunning beer. Stunning. <laughs> Excuse me. Stunning beer from Arbor. Again, Yakima Valley, American IPA, 7% ABV. I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. So two Arbor beers in a row, I'll give you a 10 out of 10 for. Give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.